Hello, welcome to another episode of Confessions of an Ag Teacher Educator. This is the 29th episode of the Parliamentary Procedure series. And this episode is entitled Games and Grades. Uh, today we did our review for our accreditation exam on Thursday. And it was exciting. We played the World Series of Parliamentary Procedure, you know, Parley Pro Baseball. And as we designed this game, uh, I took the uh, review packet and cut up all the questions and so the first thing I did is I put students in pairs uh, pairs based on how they did on a quiz score so that they were at different ability levels and then in the pairs the students evaluated the question a whole bag of questions and uh, selected five questions that they thought were the difficulty level of a double that if you answer this question you got a double uh, a triple and then a home run. So they identify 15 questions at three different levels of difficulty. Uh, the most difficult being home run. I provided all of these single questions, which were true and false questions, uh, already done before they came. Um, so the students had to evaluate the potential pitches to evaluate the questions that they're going to do about which one was more difficult and think about it and see the answers because uh, they all had the key on them. Once then, we mixed them up in the bag. We had two teams, and we played baseball. And, uh, if you missed a question, it's an out. Uh, you got to call what pitch you want from a single true-false question all the way to a home run, which was deemed by your peers as most difficult. Uh, and then you can only score by advancing runs. And so I thought it was a fun way to review parliamentary procedure to prepare us for our accreditation exam and to have students thinking, uh, reflecting if I was going to do it again or if I had more time. Um, I shouldn't say do it again, if I was, especially if I was doing of different content or in a high school classroom, I would probably have the students actually create the pitches like the class session before, design them, and then also um, evaluate the ones I provide, and then we'd play the game. So I'd add a level where they'd have to uh, create the pitches. So all in all, that was fun. Of course, this is leading toward the end of the semester, and end of the semester, you know, students start worrying about grades, but this is a unique class. And I had to sleep and think and noodle on in a while to kind of figure out, like, really, what's fair? What feels right for how this goes? Um, this is an elective, 100% elective. Kids took this because they wanted to learn Parley Pro. This was also a student design course because of the nature of how I facilitated it. So they created the syllabus. They identified the... Uh, participant learning outcomes, they identified the assignments and the expectations. And so all of a sudden, I really felt a disconnect. Um, how am I going to grade these kids? I mean, they're the ones that set what they expected. They knew what this class was supposed to be. They know how much work they put into it. I also hate high stakes testing because some people just don't do well. So are we going to put a large portion of the grade on an accreditation exam that is naturally uh, multiple choice or um, you know what would be typical standardized testing that doesn't really line up with how I usually rock and roll and so it came to me if it's a student centered course student design chosen by elective why would I all of a sudden become uh, uncongruent and me evaluate why not have the students evaluate so today the students were given the pink sheet where they were to identify their letter grade. I gave them the scale, the scale they had the whole time. And then the justification for that letter grade uh, based on, on the flip side, the assignments and the criterion and goals that they had created, not me. Um, and so that's their ticket in the door for the final. And they said, well, what, how do we know what we get in the final? I said, well, I don't want the final score to impact your final grade. I want how hard you work to prepare for that final to impact that grade. So evaluate yourself on how much time and energy you put in to being the best you can be on this exam. I don't know if this is good or not, but we're going to find out. Thanks for tuning in to Confessions of an Ag Teacher Educator.